Well, guys, it's been a long time, and I'm finally glad to see each and every one of you. Yes, it has been a very long time, Junior, and I am glad to see you, too. Dude, you sound a lot more sophisticated. The reason I sound more sophisticated is because the creator no longer can do that voice, and he has to make me sound like this. Okay, Junior? Ah. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss your voice. I'm gonna miss my voice, too. Yo, yo, stop going on with this thing or the thing, and let's get to the topic. What's going on, and what are we going to do, yo? What's with the voice? Okay, it's been a while since you've done Nabbit, so how about you shut your mouth? Hey, guys, it's me, Phil. I just want to say hi. Okay, so what do you guys want to do? Well, I think we should play a very nice game of mathematics. It's been that long, yo, and you're going to do freaking math? No, how about we go play some paintball like real math? Paintball? I paint? There's balls of paint? There's balls of paint? How come my mom never bought me those when I was little? Because man, paintballs are for guns. Guns? Oh, you mean the guns that go around like this? Um, Phil, that's a boomerang. Oh, it's not a gun? I thought it was a gun. It's a boomerang! Junior's dad, Junior's dad has a gun. Junior's gun has a dad. That, that's what you're about to say, wasn't it? No, 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 I was not about to say that at all. So what do you guys want to do? I have a very grand idea. What if all of us come up with a story and we all tell the story to everyone? Just come up with a quick story in your head and we'll all say it. Yo, that actually be really fun. We can make a story whatever we want. I can make a story about lasagna and crayons. Yo, what the hell kind of idea is that? That's like the dumbest idea I've ever heard in the history of ideas. Well, you gotta give him some credit for thinking of that. Uh, um, how about you go first, Joe, because you came up with the idea. Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll start. So it all started one morning. When I woke up, I went to check th to see if I had any laundry. I didn't. I was incredibly surprised. Well, I don't have any laundry. That's really weird. Oh, I know. I better go check the washing machine. So I check the washing machine. I make myself to the dryer, and there's no clothes. I make myself to the washing machine, and there's no clothes. I was very confused, so I went back upstairs. I don't believe it. There's no clothes in either of these things. What is going on? Hmm. I better go up in my room to see. So I sat down, and I thought to myself, and I finally remembered. I'm a Goomba. I don't have clothes. Oh, what a funny day. Wasn't that just a funny story? Wouldn't that be actually hilarious if that happened? I, um, I don't, I don't know how I, I feel about that. Yo, that story stuck. Yeah, that no, that story had no crayons. How can it be fun if there's no crayons? Um... Well, I thought that story was quite amusing, if you ask myself. But, you know, I'm just a genius at comedy. At least that's what my parents tell me. Genius at com- Have you seen Dave Chappelle? Dave who? Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell. Adam Sandler. Adam. You've never seen a comedian. Oh, I've seen a comedian. Oh, uh, what about the guy from the Wiggles? He's blue. Oh, Anthony, that's his name. I love the Wiggles. It's such a great show. You've never seen an Adam Sandler movie. Have you even seen the Lego movie? Because that's got Will Ferrell in it. No, I have not seen the Lego movie. My parents say Lego bricks are so bad that you could step on them. But Lego is very fun. Your parents are screwed up, man. Screwed up. We gotta have you over sleep over one night, and we're gonna make you sit through something like Happy Gilmore or something. That's, that's a good movie. Okay, uh, why, why don't you go, Nabbit? Oh, I have a story that is basically true, but I'll add a few kicks to it because you know what I'm saying. Mm, yes, I just heard what you said. Shut up, all right, y'all? So it all started like this. Okay, turn the, turn the camera. So, yo, it all started like this. I was doing my daily push-ups, my daily jumping jacks, my daily butt sits, in my daily exercise, right? And I was gonna do my short little track that I go down to each day to prove them that I'm the best race on the Mushroom Kingdom. And I'm running. And I get to the end of the track, right? And I'm like, oh, yo, I'm the best racer that the Mushroom Kingdom gotta see, if you know what I'm saying, right? And so this guy comes up to me and he's like, you're too 
slow. And I'm like, what do you mean you slow? I just ran a big ass lap and it was like the quickest thing anyone could see. He's like a super blue hedgehog and he's like, he's like, you're too slow. I could run that, that lap faster than you within seconds. And they're like, oh, you want to see that? I'll stay my ass right here and you go run the lap. And he's like, if, if I win, my record's faster than you. You got to buy me chili dog. And he's like, fine. And I'm like, if I'm faster than you, you give me one grand. And he's like, deal. So he started to do his record. So he was going to do his record all. He was like doing his, like his arm stretch, which I thought was pretty stupid because it's a running race, but he's doing arm stretches and everything. And he's like, you're too slow. And he ran fast. And he's like, my time, 40 seconds. And I'm like, 40 seconds? Heck. That nothing, dude. So I got up and I'm like, okay, it's my time to show you how I'm shining. You better get ready to fork over the one grand. And he's like, no, no. You better get ready to fork over the chili dog. And I'm like, oh, you on, dude, you on. So I got up there and I do my stretches, ones that actually make sense, right? And I book it. And I'm like, what's my time? And he like, four, oh, one. 41 seconds. And I'm like, you what? How, you, you were cheating me or something. And he's like, fine. If you think I'm cheating you, you and me will have a one-on-one -on -one race. I win, you buy me the chili dog. You win, I'll get you the one grand. I'm like, oh, one grand, here I come. Let's race, hippie. And I thought of the best idea to prove this little hedgehog a point. So we were booking it as fast as you can. I'm just going to take this one in slow motion so you guys can see it. We were booking it. And right before we got to the finish line, I thought of the most genius thing. I shoved him down the stairs. And he fell for like an hour. And I won. And he had to give me $1,000. Except he didn't. Because the emergency people at the hospital told me I killed him. That's my story, y'all. Oh, ha, ha, I get it. The part where you said that you were making up was the part where you killed the man. No, you nuts the pot was making them. I didn't ask him for $1,000. I asked him for $10,000, yo. You stupid. So you actually killed a man. Oh, what guy hasn't killed a guy before? Now nah, but you killed some. Of course I killed someone. I don't want to tell my story now. I'm done my story now. All right, Junior. Why don't you tell us your story now? Uh, my, 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 my story? Yes, let's hear your story. No one can beat my story, yo. You an idiot. Yeah, Drew, yo, let's, let's hear your story. Um, can, can I talk to, to Joe in private? Alright, whatever. It's, it's not like I'm your best friend or anything. Come on, douchebag. Um, Junior, what is it? Um, I don't really know how to tell stories. You don't? Oh, maybe you're just out of ideas. That happens to me all the time. What if we leave for about... Ten minutes, come back, and you'll have a great story to tell us. All right, guys, we're going to leave and go have some drinks down at Junior's house. Kool-Aid on me. All right, Kool-Aid, sweet. Can we get Pablo? Um, um, oh, no. Looks like I'm out of ideas. Ugh. Why can't I think of anything? I, I was always the most creative one of the bunch. I always had the best ideas, the best things. Why can't I think of anything? Junior, what's all this complaining about? What's going on? Dad, what are you doing here? You really think I was going to be in a Bowser Jr. video without making an appearance? I'm everyone's favorite part of the Bowser Jr. cast. Are you sure? Yes, Junior, I'm positive. Now what are you doing, you idiot? I'm actually trying to think of a story. A story? Why are you thinking of a stupid story? Oh, you're thinking of a story to tell the cops when they ask where the dead body went? That's a great idea. Start thinking. No, Dad, me and my friends were, were, were telling stories, and they all told one, and I can't think of anything to tell them. You are the crappiest and the stupidest life ever, Junior. Let me know when you kill someone. My God, you're an idiot. Hm. I got an idea. That gave me an idea. So, Junior, did you think anything? Yes, I did think of something. Joe? I did. Joe, can you explain to me why your dad just came down and started yelling at us for drinking Kool-Aid? Yes, I told him I'd pay him back, but he's like, no, that's my Kool-Aid, man. My Kool-Aid. I didn't know you could mimic voices. Well, I am very good. I'm taking a, a different voice class, a voice acting class, if you will. I am doing incredibly good in it, if I don't say so myself. So, Junior, let's hear your story. Maybe it's got a crayon in it. 
Oh, you're gonna love this story. It's based on true events, I guess you could say. There was a kid. His name was Junior. Every morning, he'd wake up with the most annoying sound ever. Junior, you get your ass over here, and now you get it over now. And so the kid went to his father, and he asked, Oh, father, what do you want? And he's like, Junior, I want you to clean the whole house. I gave Chef Homer one day off to see his stupid aunt, and now I need you to clean. So go do it now. Oh, okay, Dad. So day after day, hour after hour, the boy had to clean, and he never was given a break. <sighs> I'm so tired. When will I be given a break? Yeah, I told those kids that was my Kool-Aid. It was my Kool-Aid. And a magical fairy, um, or not a fairy, a YouTuber by the name of Bowser Jr. Number one came down, grabbed Bowser, and he said, Yo, this is Bowser Jr.'s channel. I need you to back off and stop being such a douchebag to him. And he's like, No, are you kidding? So what Bowser Jr. Number one did was the most heroic thing I've ever seen in history. Is he grabbed the door after struggling with it for a few minutes, turned on the light, and he chucked Bowser down the stairs. Oh, oh, crap! Bowser didn't learn his lesson until Bowser Jr. had to throw him down the stairs 32 times. So Bowser Jr. went up to Bowser and he's like, Father, I'm done with all the chores. What am I going to do now? And after Bowser getting this huge concussion, he went, The sun is a planet. You go play with your friends. And that was the happiest day of that child's life. Woohoo, I'm going to play with my friends. So what do you guys think of the story? I thought it was great, Junior. It was a perfect reflection of your own life. Your father making you do everything and you never getting a break, even though you have a chef for that reason. It's, it's a figness of your mind that you actually spoke up for yourself and said, no, I'm done with this. Oh, you know, he was just sick of his father being a douchebag and decided to make a story where he gets his ass kicked. Yeah, it was actually an Abbott's idea. Oh, so no sophisticated thing? I like crayons. Great to be back in the video, guys. Great to be back in one. So, story time was pretty fun. What do you guys want to do now? Well, I want to go down and get Kirby Style Allies for the Switch. Ooh, me too. Let's go. Ooh, Kirby Style Allies. It's the only game I like to play because Kirby's so cute and harmless. I'm going to go pick it up. Did you just say... Oh, he getting his ass kicked. Hey, guys. It's Bowser Jr. 1 here today. And I say, I want to say... Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Super Princess Peach is over, so next week is going to be a Mario video, and you'll be seeing your boy Yoshi, Blue Blue Yoshi, your boy Ouija, and your boy Peach return to the normal video schedule. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. For the first time in a while, you got Junior's friends back in the video. you got Joe the Goomba. To those new people, don't know who he is. Joe's the Goomba. Junior's a smart friend. Um, Nabbit Nabbit's Junior's old friend that's the gangster type guy. And Phil is Junior's longtime buddy who is not the brightest. But anyway, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys next time. And if you have any video suggestions, leave them in the comments below. And remember, you guys are awesome. Bye-bye. I like crayons.